you are holding Svedka and making your way out of the thing. You don't even have to yeah, make I'm, a roll. You I'm just, just look... carrying her, like, just, you know, like in the movies, Yeah. Exactly. Uh, over the shoulder or across the arms? Across the arms. Okay. So, or, 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 or yeah, I was going to say over the shoulder is like a fireman carry. Arms. No time to do anything fancy. So, so you, uh, you're, Princess you're running with her in the arms. So you're, yeah, Princess Carrie. Yeah. So, uh, like Superman to Lois Lane. Yeah. Um, so you're making your way out of the, the, uh, the area, uh, off of the ship, um, and you look off to the side, and you see Lena. Rockwell is way the fuck across the, the hangar, making towards the doorway. And you see Lena is off to the side. She's just finished activating the grav lift that's holding all the tubes. And she's holding the tubes and turning them towards that area over there and starting to try to, like, move with them. They're, there's a grav lift on them, so they're light. They're much, much, much lighter. However, one person navigating them is going to make it really difficult. You need one in front to, uh, to like, actually aim them and one behind to push them that's kind of how it works unless you could like have the vi of the thing itself do the job for you she's doing it by herself she wasn't able to access the vi for it you look over and you see this as you're getting off of the ship and you still got a distance to run what do you do would it theoretically be possible to put svetka on the grav lift as well and therefore be able to help uh help Lena with the with the thing okay the so the thing is already lifted up um about a meter off of the ground and then on top of that these things were already about three and a half uh meters tall anyways so you're looking at just over four meters in height where you want to put Svedka totally an option if you want to put her on top you just have to like it's like gravity hoof her up there and hope that it works or two you could try to like put her into one of the things or wedge her amongst them and hope that she doesn't come flopping out. I mean, it's she's limp. She's complete, she's a rag doll. And there's no like lip and nice comfortable area where you can just like put her onto. The, 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 the grav lift is completely held by all of these containers. Bigger, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how many people are on a grav lift just out of curiosity? Uh, just a quick count. It looks like it's uh, a five by seven. Hmm. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. I'll try to jam her in somewhere there, and I'll uh, I'll try to help out. Sure. We'll say that you go and you literally just kind of like flop her into the thing over to where you're going to be anyways, and you're kind of like holding the thing from the front, but like leaning into it to like try to support her so she's gonna lift your shoulder as you're like moving with this thing and it's you and Lena together. Okay. You and Lena each have to make exert rolls, and this is going to be, um, for you, exert dexterity, for Lena, exert strength, but it's a lower DC for her because she's just pushing. Something that is effectively weightless. <sighs> That's a bad time to snake eye. Oh my god. Okay, let me just roll Lena's first. Oh god. I am very happy. Oh god. Okay, so, um, oh god. So she's shoving this thing, no problem whatsoever, and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And you're like trying to like move backwards to keep Svedka uh, lodged into the thing. And you're like trying to move backwards and run with this thing and uh, move it where it needs to. And But unfortunately, you end up losing your footing, tripping over your feet, and getting like thrown under with it hitting the side of your helmet. Not concussing you or injuring you in any way, but literally to the point where uh, Lena's running over and literally has to step over you. I'm going to have her make uh, a... Um, Evasion save with a plus uh, three. Ooh. And trips over you oh, as she's God. pushing this thing. She trips over you as she's running with it. It's like, oh, jeez. And so the thing continues moving forward with, like, the momentum that you had already built. But literally what? stumbles over you and, like, flops onto the ground next to you. It's like, what the? And, like, uh, looks back at you and she's like, frantically looking at you like we get the get the fuck out of here the two of you guys are able to get to your feet and you have a decision you can book it straight for the doorway or the two of you can help the lift which has svedka on it i mean the thing is still moving right it is but just not fast and with 
like the wrong direction now. So it's again, it's because, you know, obviously it was like thrown by her, like falling and, and knocking it slightly. So, I mean, you could either go straight for the doorway, beeline and hoof it towards the doorway yourselves, or you can go and grab the grav lift that also has Svetka on it. This is a really tough call, mostly because it involves someone else's character that I might kill if I say the wrong I, thing. I'm right there with you, buddy. Yeah. How far away from the uh, from the gate are we? If you were to book it, you're pretty sure you can make it. Like, you, you, you think you can make it. If you don't book it, if you go for this thing, you're just, you're burning time. <laughs> Uh. Rockwell, you're sitting pretty. You're nice and safe. As a matter of fact, as you go running into the hallway and you look down while he's thinking, one of the things that you see is that Johnson is just a fucking carnage mess. He's just a splatter on the wall. He's disgusting. <laughs> like slip on him. He was still in this thing. Yeah, he's the, he was still in this thing when the <laughs> happened. Yep. And oh, he is. Did chat a remind mess. you that, Pachance? Uh, no, actually, I don't know if Chat even mentioned Johnson. Chat, chat was like... He was mentioned. Was in that whole oh, life. I totally did not even see it then. No, I knew <laughs> oh, Johnson was in there. I was like, I'm going to get to that later. Um, as for your little robot, uh, I'm going to allow you to make a uh, an invasion save. With yeah, your I little mean, robot it was thing. back in the tunnels that are below that area. So oh, it's yeah. very unlikely for a, for a bullet to take. Well, it I guess was, there's enough bullets. Yeah, I'm going to allow you to make an evasion sh save with the, the robot. Uh, I will allow you to make it flat. Eh, no more robot. 11 against the 14. Unfortunately, it also, whether it be falling debris, uh, clipped hits, uh, a bit of Johnson. It was, it was fucked either way. It, it might have just fucked. been like sustained damage from before, honestly. Who knows? Yeah, it could have been. So it's just one of those, the robot, when you find when you finally find it, you see that you're like, maybe I can fix this thing. But because the way robots work is different than the way people work. So you're like, maybe I can put this thing back together. Let me start grabbing up the parts. You're not saying that to Johnson. All right, so... Um, <laughs> would I be able to carry it out of here if we're running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick up the pieces. Cool. Sure, yeah, the thing's not super sure. heavy or anything like that. So, okay. um... Uh, oh, you can grab that up and keep moving enough. down the tunnel. All right, back to you, Rick. I would gesture to Lena to take the front so that she's covered by the tubes and, like, near Svetka. I will put my back to the ship and push it. She... When you say, like let's switch, keep going sort of a thing. And uh, she actually like looks at you and it's that look that's like, like we both know this is our last, this might be the last time we spend a moment together. And she gives you I that like nod. lock jawed affirmative nod, like, like kind of one of those, it was a pleasure sort of nods, but doesn't say anything. She, you know, uh, she's very like lithe. She pushes herself up off the ground as her hands are half pushing herself up off the ground. Her foot's already between her arms and planted into the ground and springing forward and running towards the uh, the thing. She kind of like, as she's running over to it, she just kind of like grabs it and spins it, throwing her back to it and holding it and just starts like trying to launch herself backwards and like pulling backwards and moving as quickly as she can as Svetka like falls onto her shoulder and she's trying to hold Svetka, directing the thing as you yourself push yourself up off the ground, not anywhere near as lithe as she is, but still with grace of sorts. <laughs> um, and running over, grabbing the thing that she just spun to line up for you, and you just grab it, you start hoofing it, pushing forward as much as possible. All right, you, Rick, please. Roll me, fuck, this comes down to Lena. Roll me your uh, uh, ex uh, exert strength save. Do it with a minus three. Oh my God. Ex exert strength save, you said? Uh, exert strength check. With a minus three. Jesus Christ, you really are trying to be killed. And now it's Lena's turn. With her exert dexterity. Oop. I wish it would have gone. Um, he's just he's just building tension. <laughs> okay. So her aim is not perfect, but she gets you at least over nearby the the, the doorway. It's not like a, a one shot instant in. No question about that. Um, it's you guys are gonna have to spend another moment to like refinagle it to, to get it through the doorway to finesse it through the doorway. Um, 
so she she does a pretty good job of getting you where you need to be, but not perfect. You are pushing as hard as you can to get there. It's a good thing this thing is weightless because you are, are just never found. Maybe you hurt your ankle with uh, when you fell, but you just don't have the proper footing to push forward as much as you do. You guys get over to the doorway. She's on the other side of the containers, as you said. The ship starts to explode. <laughs> um, first thing I need you to do is roll me an evasion save. Uh, for the first evasion save, you're going to get a, uh, a plus three to the roll, which just means whatever your number is, reduce it by three, and then roll. Right. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Just barely make it. So you make your evasion save. None of the initial exploding pieces of, pieces of shrapnel and whatnot uh, start coming this way as the thing's overheating. It's like doing mini explosions first before it does its like huge one. You're actually safe for the moment. Lena didn't have to make a save. She was luckily saved by being on the other side of the thing. A few of the tubes took hits of the metal exploding outwards. Okay. Now, um, you are uh, uh, there. The tunnel's right there. You can choose to say fuck this and run through the tunnel. Or you can do your last check to try to get all everybody through the tunnel. There's a few less people that you're saving, but there's still a bunch of people here. Svetka and Lena's still here with you. It's your last, literally, I'm telling you right now, this is your last rolls. Uh, what would Lena be indicating? Like, is she making any indications that she's willing to leg it right now, or is she still committing? She's holding the thing and trying to reposition it to be pushed in, but she needs your help to, to assist. If you go running past her, she's going to have to be like, fuck it, and go run past it with you. She looks committed, but she will, it seems like she'll probably abort if you abort. You can't give up now. That would yeah, be it's like we've gotten so, so far bad. In. But you know, Rockwell isn't is is gone. <laughs> so he's not giving you any orders. No, I'm continuing, and hopefully my, you know, if I don't get any more minus threes, which I probably will, I might actually live. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do Lena's check first for uh, arranging the thing to be pretty. Uh-huh. Where oh there you are, Lena. Exert. Dexterity. She does a pretty good, good job yeah. of lining the thing up, getting it to where it needs to be. Okay? She does a pretty good job of that. Now it is your turn. Now, I'm gonna be nice here. Good, yeah. I'm not gonna give you the minuses. I'm just gonna adjust the DC, the uh, the difficulty to uh to do this. <laughs> So you don't have to roll with minuses on your roll. I just know what the number is that it has to be. Roll me your exert. Uh, actually, at this point in time, because you're so close, you don't have to worry about the strength of it. You're also rolling me an exert dexterity to finesse it through the hole. All right. Okay. And you guys finesse the thing through the hole and go pushing it through, scraping it on the side and stuff like that, trying to get it through. Luckily, the uh, machine gun took out that doorway, so it's not an issue. And you guys are making your way through the <laughs> what hole. What a coincidence. You just so, don't have to pivot through the door. You guys get into the hallway, no question. Lena way down the hallway because of the fact that she was on the other side of the thing. Svetka immediately in front of her, and in front of that are the containers. Unfortunately, Carmine is the one that's most exposed to the blast and not protected by these huge medical containers. So when the explosion finally happens and the wave of energy, heat, and everything comes blasting outwards, I do need one more roll from you, Rick. I do need a physical saving throw from you because you happen to be the one that's on the outside. I will give you, because you made it down the hallway, you guys did decent, I will give you a plus two to this roll, which means reduce the number by two. And may the biotic god smile upon you. They do not. <laughs> oh, that's a hard fail. The wave of energy, heat, and everything just coming through. So it throws everything backwards. Rockwell, you're way down the hallway as much as you can, but like looking back this way to see how they're doing, like you're, 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 you're fucking, you're fuck off safe. You know what I mean? But you're looking to see if they're okay or whatever. And you see, see that Lena gets smashed up against the wall. Uh, the container is smashed here against the wall. They fall short. Da -da 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 -da. It's, it's you, Rockwell. What do you do? 
Like you see the explosion happens. As I, I, I run up. To, you feel to, to the to heat Lena. come across your face mm -hmm. with your helmet on and everything, but you're you're safe. You go running uh, towards. I, uh, immediately run up to Lena. Is she? Is she damaged? You look at Delina. She's completely unconscious. Uh, but you look at her. You're like, she's fucked up. She's hurt. But like a quick check, you could immediately check. Okay, she's alive. I could see she's breathing. What I'll I could see the do inside right of her, is, is her helmet steaming. Straight up, metagel her to get her up and, and awake. Sure. Um, Make me a first aid check. It's super easy. It's just a DC six. You could choose intelligence or dexterity. Uh, weirdly enough, I'm gonna do the one I've got a plus one in. Thanks. Okay, there you go. So you immediately, she's just kind of like, and she, she, she's, uh, as soon as she comes alive, she's like, Carmine, Carmine. And she, she's like looking. Rockwell will then look at the, where the explosion came from. You see like hunched over uh, the, the uh, big grav lift thingy hanging between the, um, the containers is uh, Svedka. She's like literally hunched over uh, flopped there and whatnot, completely motionless. Do you check her vitals? I I'll check her vitals, but uh, <laughs> uh, still be looking out. So it's sort of like I go up and I, I, I do more of a like check a panel on the on the suit and like, but still be looking the entrance because uh, I mean Carmine's not here. Yep. First aid and it's intelligence or uh, wisdom. Cool. 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 Uh, you can't tell. You don't know if she's alive or dead. You just can't tell. I, I kind of like, I, I then look back at Lena and it's like, Carmine isn't with you. She's, uh, immediately starts trying to like move the grav lift, but the mechanics of it are completely broken. She immediately starts trying to like, dit, 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 but the, the mechanics of it are broken. Fortunately, like while she's doing this, she's looking at her doing this and trying to like realizing like what's happening, like what's going on. You look and you see that the, uh, that the containers themselves, you see little lights on most of them still. So the containers mm -hmm. seem to be okay. The people inside the containers, there's little splats of blood here and there is like the restraints or whatever inside them did stop them, but the force is so great. They're kind of like, Doof, and like this, maybe it hurt their arm or they still like hit their head against like the back of the thing or whatever it is. So they did injure themselves, but they're probably still alive and okay. Yeah. They're, you know, nothing critical there. Uh, but you can tell by her frantic motions that Carmine's clearly on the other side of this lift. I'll I'll go over to that side and I'll start pushing, but like c trying to calm uh, Carmine while I'm while I'm doing it. I'll, I'll try and help. I'll do an exert. Uh, it's gonna be an exert strength check because Lena's mm -hmm. assisting you and you just pumped her full of a bunch of endorphins and whatnot. <laughs> um, uh, you are gonna be able to roll with a plus two strength exert. Awesome. I'm um, actually like good at exerting. Weirdly enough. You move the thing as much as you can, and kind of wedge it, and you're like you, she grabs. Uh, she actually grabs her sniper rifle, like doo -doo -doo, and like throws it underneath it. Once you guys moved out of point, to like pin it in a spot. And you know how much she fucking loves that sniper rifle. But this is karma. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So she throws a sniper rifle down there to wedge it, so it stays lifted, so you, because you're a small person, can squeeze your way through to get to the other side. Um, you can do so for me, but roll me an exert dexterity check. Sure. I like do that and like turn the light on and the on the helmet like. Okay, and you are able to get to the other side uh, of this thing with your exert dexterity check, and what you see on the other side is Carmine's body, uh, like so it's when you see he's on the ground his form is on the ground, however the back of his suit is completely missing, like his whole back half like all the upper layers of flesh are just gone, completely burnt. Uh, you can see in the, the, the tube in front, the tube is immediately in front of you, bits of his, his helmet, which you know what the kind of glass this is made out of, bits of his helmet are embedded into the, the tubes uh. in front of you. It's one of those, like, his whole body seems to be pretty much intact, but he is fucked the fuck up. <sighs> and so, obviously you're gonna get your meta gel and you're gonna try to save him. I'm going to have to, uh, for what you're trying to do, the DC, you don't take any penalties. This is your only other method. DC is going to be harder. The DC is uh, much higher for you to try to do this. You make I your first aid check. Now. Before you sure. roll, before you roll, I'm going to remind you, you are an engineer. 
Oh yeah, okay. Once per <laughs> Now would be. A I good was time. like, I was like, I can still do medicine. Damn it! <laughs> no, now I know what you mean. Yeah. Unfortunately, when you inject him full well, of that Well, then I'm stuff, gonna re-roll, aren't I? That's not good enough. He gets. I, no, I didn't know if six was enough. He gets no response. No response uh, as you inject him full of the meta gel. I'll re-roll, like basically hoping for crits, but it's one of those things where I'm, I'm doing it. I'm probably doing the medjo and then like slowly lifting his head off the side. Like, no, nah. this, this 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 guy's gone. So I like I like have the the omni tool like plug in and I like lift it and I'm like Shh, and I can like do it again. But uh, the DC yeah. I was gonna set for you was a DC ten, with uh him making a a fair uh uh physical save afterwards. Unfortunately. You uh, go and you check Carmine, you inject him full of the Metagel, and you see the Metagel seep into his body and immediately start doing like some mild repairs. But almost immediately afterwards, you see the Metagel just kind of like slow down and come to a stop and stops mm -hmm. doing its repair work because it is not getting the signals the from the body dead. itself. Exactly. The body is not sending the, the pulses, the signals of what it needs to, to save him. Unfortunately, Carmine is lying there flayed, plastered on the ground. A hero to these people in the tubes, but at an extreme cost, at a, at a major cost to uh, to himself. Carmine, as far as you can tell, is is not alive. I I get up, and there's a little bit of, like, slowness to it. I kind of look to Lena. It's like, no life signs. We need to contact the Stalingrad. You say no life signs? She said, she's like, no, fuck you! And she like gets up and immediately starts going over and she goes he down to actually, Carmen like, as well. Straight up walks away, lets, lets her try. While he's doing that, he'll actually start um, uh, attempting to another, fi fix the grav lifts uh, broken systems. That's what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. She's going to go down and because she had already used one of her uh, own meta gels earlier, I believe. She's going to use the other one. Yeah, she did on that other guy. She's going to use her other meta gel on Carmine. I'm going to tell everybody this. Her DC is a 12. It is very unlikely. It is nigh impossible. It is this is going to be terrible if it actually works. And I'm like, you know, time of death. And then. Where is Lena? It'll be worse. Uh, yeah, it is nigh impossible because she is rolling with. Dexterity. She has a minus one plus one. She has to roll two natural sixes. It is not going to happen. But Lena you gotta has to give try. Her a chance, right? This is yeah. this is Lena has to try. It's space medicine. There's always a chance, right? There's always a chance. All right. I'm sorry, Rick, for for holding you on for one more moment. But here we go. And unfortunately. Slap down the middle is not going to be enough to, uh, that's a perfectly average roll in 2d6. She is going to be like, like, no, you can't leave me, Carmine. And like hits him with the meta gel and is like grabbing him and like shaking him like, no, no. And with this, like when you're, so you're like trying to get on the comms or whatever it is that you're doing. She's actually going to try to like peel him up off of the ground and like grab him and like throw him onto her shoulder and do a fire, like a over the shoulder carry for him, or fireman carry, sorry, across the shoulders, fireman carry for him, and just start like heading out towards where they said that they were going to drop the, um, the uh, Mako before. And she just starts making her way around the stupid grab lift thing, and she's struggling, she slips and falls, and she steps over her sniper rifle, and just starts like making her way down the hallway, uh, just holding him on her back. And so she starts walking. Uh, all right. While she's doing this, I would have done, tried to do two things. I would have uh, pinged the Stalingrad and very briefly, and if like fucking Sebastian tries to ping me back, I'm ignoring it. Just be like, mission successful, uh, Carmine down, Zvetka, uh, Victoria Zvetka, uh, uncertain medical state, and then um uh, request drop and then i'll um be trying to fix the grav lifts vi so it can i i can push it alone 
So that's what I'll be trying to do. Do I have to do a, a rolly roll? I'm never going to make you do a roll because you have enough time to not worry about it. But one of the things cool. is they're going to call back and say, um, uh, this is, oh, fuck, I always forget his name. Sebastian uh, Day. Sebastian, Sebastian Day. So he's like, this, this is Sebastian Day. Um, there, we, our sensors picked up a very large heat signature coming from that area. Uh, and a huge ESO exposure happened down in that area. Could you please confirm what happened? I like roll my eyes and probably like start pushing because Lena's like way ahead of me at this point. And I would just start explaining, um, you know, probably not going to do it one character because I'd be trying to explain everything as best I can. Yep. Of course, Rockwell doesn't even have all the information. We so like, will be yeah. touching down just outside of that hangar then. The sound of the hangar. Yeah. So we got to go back. Yeah. Well, barely back, but yes. All right. Uh, I I come. Uh, Lena's like, they're going to be dropping it at the dropping for us at the at the hangar. Come back. Okay. Um. She doesn't even make a snarky response. Like, and of course they are. She doesn't even say anything. You just eventually see her, one come step back. at a time, uh, making her way with heavy ass carbine on her shoulders, making her way back as you get this thing. It's like listing a bit and. It's not doing very well. It's a boss job, to... but it works. <clears throat> it, it's like scraping the ground like and whatnot. Put, I like put the drone's uh, anti-grav thing on it just to like make it actually fly. Yeah, mm -hmm. get it working. And uh, and eventually, you guys are able to make your way out and over to the Stalingrad and get into it. Obviously, everybody over to the medical area and da 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 da. -da, -da. Okay, it's a little bit early, but we're gonna take our next break. I think we all need one after that. Especially poor Rick here. I just received. He's a broken man. It's his first ever tabletop RPG ever, and and he, he died the, a hero. He played a fucking hero. I knew the risks. And unfortunately, oh man, oh man. Okay. Oh yeah, that's something I, I I I forgot to mention. I did want to pick up Lena's rifle. Of course, of course, you would um, have. The fact that she I, stepped I over it was symbolic, out, but of course Rockwell is is smart enough to have done that. We'll see you guys in just a couple of minutes. Okay, we're gonna. Take a few minutes to allow everybody to kind of collect. So we'll see you shortly, okay? Um.